loves, welcome back to my channel and here and if you are a new viewer on my channel, hello girl and welcome to my channel. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel because I do upload beauty videos every single week. So for today guys, I am going to review a couple of products that I've seen from Facebook, Instagram, yung mga tools and products that I got curious with. Kasi I've seen a lot of advertisements about them and I wanted to try them out and see if yung advertisements ba is totoo or magiging expectations versus reality yung ganap. If you guys wanted to know my thoughts on these products, then just keep on watching! Okay, so the very first tool that I wanted to share with you guys that I really love is this one. This one is a brush cleaning mat. It's actually a dupe for the Sigma one, but this one is way, way inexpensive. This one only costs, um, I believe, 99 pesos. I'm not really sure, but just check out the description box below because I will put all the informations there. What I really like about this one is it has ridges or this stuff on top that really helps remove the makeup residue on your brushes and it's also ensuring that your brushes is clean. Mas nagiging madali yung paglinis ko ng makeup brushes ko, especially for foundations. When I use this tool, so I really highly recommend this one to you guys. If you guys also have a lot of makeup brushes, kasi alam nyo naman, medyo hassle kapag marami kang brushes na ginagamit and you also have to ensure that all of the makeup on your brushes are fully removed kasi pwede siyang magkaroon ng bacteria and pwede siyang mag-cause ng breakout sa inyong face. So, I really love using this one. So, I'll just insert the clip where I will show you guys kung paano ko siya ginagamit. So, first things first is you have to ensure that your sink is clean. And then, after that, meron siyang suction sa likod that you can use to stick your brush cleaning tool para hindi siya gumalaw-galaw kapag sinuswirl nyo na yung mga brushes nyo kapag pinilisa nyo siya. And then, i-rinse nyo lang yung brush nyo with water and use your brush cleaning na soap or whatever you are using. And then, isuswirl nyo lang siya doon sa brush cleaning mat. And then, i-rinse nyo ulit. And then, yun na. Um, as you guys can see, malinis na yung brush. Yung hindi ko lang masyadong gusto sa kanya is medyo maliit yung kanyang size. Aside from that, I really love it and I really think that this will help in cleaning out or ensuring that your brushes are clean. So, next product that I tried is this um, epilator. Ito yung lagi kong nakikita sa Facebook mo ginaganyan din yun ng mga babae. And it really helps in removing the facial hairs on your face. So as you guys can see on this clip, I do have um, unwanted hairs sa aking chin or under my chin. And it instantly removed it. And I didn't feel any pain while doing it. Yung medyo pricey lang siya ng konti. It will remove your facial hair nang painless. Kaya lang, when I tried to use this under my arms, medyo matagal yung pagtanggal niya ng buhok. Siguro, this one is only good for finer hairs. Kasi kung medyo makapal, parang hindi niya na siya nakukuha. I also love it and highly recommend for you guys to try this one if you are sensitive with pain and wanted to remove your facial hairs na hindi kayo masasaktan. Okay, so the next tool that I'm going to discuss with you guys is the silicone sponge. I know that this has been on the market for a very long time. Last year pa siya, but this is the first time that I tried this product out. So, what I really like about this one is it's true to its claim that it wouldn't absorb your products, but it just didn't work out for me because yes, it doesn't absorb the makeup or the product that you're applying on your face but it just moves the product around and it doesn't you know blend out the product nicely on your skin and that is what i really hate about this one it's also really hard to reach some areas of your face like 
yung sa sides ng nose, and yung dito sa under eyes, dito sa may inner corner ng mata nyo, medyo mahirap siya dyan. I just didn't like this product. Hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan. It also just washes the product on my large pores and fine lines. Kaya medyo nagsisettle yung product doon sa, sa areas na yun. So, I would rather use a brush and a sponge to apply, you know, my foundation and concealer and skip this one. Okay, so the next thing that I used are these products. So, these are both for your brows and this one is the brow stamp. Again, this one has been on the market for a very long time. Last year din siya. I think that the concept is cool kasi meron siyang stamp and I know how hard it is to make like an even brow, right? And it's really hard for some people, most especially for beginners, to create a brows on free. So this is the product that I used on this side of my brows and I will insert the clip where I will show you guys how it turned out. So when I applied this one, I, I applied way too much product guys. So, medyo naging sobrang bold yung itsura ng aking brow. And yung stump, it's a straighter brow, brow shape. So, since I do have a round face, I prefer my brows to have high art para mas maging slimmer yung itsura ng mukha ko. And yung product na to guys, it has a really good concept. Kaya lang, siguro yung nabili ko lang doesn't have, you know, the suitable brow shape for my natural brows because it's way straighter than what I wanted it to be. But what I did was I clean it out with a concealer and you know, medyo naging okay naman siya. Kaya lang sobrang bold lang kasi sobrang dami yung nalagay ko dito sa stump. And yung stump niya guys is made of foam na medyo matigas. And the product itself, it feels smooth and I also love the fact that there is a mirror dito. I think that I will continuously use the powder itself but I'm just going to use a brush in applying it rather than using the stump. Because it's okay naman yung powder nito guys. Hindi naman siya chalk nut. Hindi naman siya madaling mag smudge or matanggal as you guys can see. Oh. Meron naman siyang parang tint na natitira which is really good and I've been wearing this for a couple of you know hours already since I applied my eye makeup and so far okay pa naman siyang titnan. So this one naman I thought this is going to be a henna that you can use to color your brows and all and it says here na long lasting coloring eyebrow and this is by Nanda. First and foremost the packaging I appreciate that they included a brush here because that is going to be perfect for girls out there who are constantly traveling. But I didn't appreciate na ganito yung nilagay nilang brush because for me this one is a lip brush, yung dito eyebrow brush. So what I did was to use the cream, yung product niya sa loob which is this one, with my brow brush and um, medyo okay naman siya kaya lang medyo sheer yung kulay niya and it didn't uh, fully fill in the sparse area of my brows if you are looking for a product that will make your brows look more natural kung makapal naman yung kilay nyo then I think that this one will work kaya lang sabi niya it's long lasting but when I tried it out hindi naman siya nagli-leave ng tint or whatsoever sa inyong skin and it easily does uh, smudge as you guys can see oh, wala na yung product dito sa my tail part na aking brow kasi wala siyang buho pero eh, dito naman it still looks okay dito sa may mga buko. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Then, next thing is this. This one is the full magnetic lashes. As you guys can see in this clip, I'm really doing my very best to apply it, but it just didn't work out. That is why I am not, you know, wearing any lashes today because I wasn't able to apply it on my lashes. 
So, it's really, really hard. Kinat ko na siya para mas lumiit and mas mabalis ko siyang malagay. Pero, wala talaga. The purpose kasi niya is to make it easier for people to apply their lashes. Pero, for me, it's really hard to apply. I would rather use yung regular lash and use my lash glue. I'm sorry, I'm going to pass. And then lastly is this Lip Hop Makeup Perfect Love. This one is yung parang duo na kulay to make an ombre lips. When it comes to the ease of application, I can say that this product can be easily applied on your lips. It glides on smoothly on your lips. And yung formula niya, okay naman. Hindi naman siya yung bad na formula. Kaya lang, mahalata mo talaga na cheap lang yung lipstick na to. Hindi ko naman nasasabi na pangit siya, but it just didn't work out for me. I love matte lipstick and this one is satin, yung kanyang finish. And meron din siya guys, amoy. And it also doesn't last long on your lips. I love the concept na yung kinagagamit ng lip liner for you to have like a fuller lip. But this one just didn't work out for me. But if you guys like the satin finish ng mga lipstick, I think that you will like this. But as for me, hindi ko nagustuhan. Plus the shade doesn't also soothe my skin tone. So I think I'm also going to pass on this. So, yeah, that is it for today's review, guys. I hope that you guys find this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for you guys to become a part of my beloved family. Comment down below kung ano yung product na gusto nyo yung itry ko and itest ko for you guys para magawa natin ang review. So, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know that I love you so much. Don't forget what I always say to you guys. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams possible. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. Damn!